Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We have got an absolutely stonking show for you today on Launch Day. It's all about Spectrum Noir. The comments in the last show were going crazy. Loads of people just sending out their love for Spectrum Noir. We know we always have new crafters watching us. And, you know, let's be honest, we have a lot of products. We have so many different products that it may be a little bit of a, you know, sort of a whirlwind for you to work out what you need. Today in this show, we are going to be giving you some amazing deals on our Spectrum Noir products. But we're also going to be talking through what they all do because it may, we, we, we do a lot of ink pads. Let's just be honest, lots of ink pads. You need to know what ink pads are going to do what, what ones are going to be best for you. So this is your opportunity to watch and see all of these great things with our Spectrum Noir collection and get them for a fantastic price we are doing our special deals at the moment with 30 percent off all these different um, items it's definitely the time for you to stock up or maybe you're just sort of being teetering on the cusp of um, taking uh, the opportunity to buy some tri blends with these deals you will not like to miss out on those at all today um it's not me doing the spectrum wire stuff the boss is in the house you Hello, know what I'm like though, Becky. When it's a big, big show, I always pull rank. In fact, what I do is I look <laughs> at my schedule and I go, oh, I'm free that day. Let's put that big show on there. And I could not miss this one for the world. So I know there's a lot of you who have been shopping with us for a lot of years and will know all about it. But as Becky was saying, we get so many new people all the time. And Spectrum Noir is our colouring brand. So this was 10 years ago now. Actually, more than 10 years ago, we introduced Spectrum Noir into our family. So we are a paper craft company. Company. We're all about card making, a little bit of scrapbooking, but mainly people who decorate their cards with our products. Yep. And we started off just with some alcohol pens. And from those tiny, what's that saying about little acorns and big mighty trees or whatever? Yeah, yeah that's Spectrum Noir. <laughs> so we started off with just them few pens, and now we do this whole collection. We do so much breadth, but everything is about how do our card makers use these products. We're not a fine art company. We produce fine art, great products to use within the craft market that's what's so awesome about it so this show is literally every all of our spectrum products on the website we've got up to 30 percent of everything however we've curated the best deals for this show right now we did a preview on wake-up call it's been absolutely bananas at least we know which ones you are going for now and we've just got some epic I mean, some epic deals on today, Becky, haven't we? We really do, absolutely. Lots of people are coming in to say hello. Linda Armstead says hello from Maryland. Lois says hello, everyone, from Ohio. Sorcerer Cat says hello from Eastern of Pennsylvania. Um, Lynn Mortis says good afternoon, Sarah. Becky, Corinne, Team Social and all the CTV team from a wet Newcastle. It is wet. Uh, Zoe says afternoon all. And Kelly says happy Monday, crafty friends. As always, watching on my phone while at work. How do you get away with that? Uh, I'm just saying we can't we can't say that's okay, but <laughs> why not? We couldn't possibly comment on whether or not that's a good idea. Exactly. Maybe maybe that's part of your job. Part of your job is you've got to, you've, you've entered it into your contract. I have to watch Crafters Companion when they're live. And if you've managed to do that, well done you. <laughs> Um, do message in if you've got any questions about the items that we're going to, going to be having here today. Sarah's got some fantastic demos to show you how these products work. Because as we were saying, lots of you have already got them. And we are super, super grateful for the comments that you put in there telling us how much you love them and what great items they are. But for so many, not just... Not just you, but even me. I sort of think, oh, I didn't know that could happen. I didn't know you could use that. I didn't know there was a blending solution for the pencils. Um, you know, and I'm going to be learning as well as you. There are no silly questions. Just get them in. Um, one of us will be able to answer the questions. Rachel Brown says good afternoon from a crafty people for crafty people from a wet um, Shropshire. Trisha Love says good morning, my crafty friends from Atlanta. And Lynn says hello again, Sarah, Becky, Corinne, the amazing CTV team, and all the wonderful social superstar Susie and everybody. Hello to you all. Right, we should get started because there's a lot to get through in this show, isn't there, Sarah? Yes, so here's the thing, guys. I took all of the feedback from the last show and I've planned to do a lot of demonstrating this hour. So it's going to be a little bit fly by the seat of our pants. How do we pull this out? How does this work with this? Which means if you've got questions about the products that we're using, I, I've just basically got all my demo stuff out here. I can pull anything in and show anything that we need to. So, yes, yeah, so I've tried to incorporate all the stuff that we saw in the comments earlier, but mm -hmm. I am here at your disposal for two whole hours, right? Fantastic. What I need to do is just walk you through our second 
biggest selling item of the day. Okay. Right? This is good. This is unreal. This here, brilliant. Absolutely unreal. I'm going to walk you through both of them, okay? Because most of you here, most of the people checking out, we've had more baskets checking out with these in than not with these in, if that makes sense, okay? Now, for I start showing you what's in here, with Spectrum Noir, it's all, people find it overwhelming, Becky. It's a little bit like mm -hmm. me when I go to the makeup shop mm -hmm. and I, oh yes, I do like them and I like that, I like, but I don't know where to start, yes. right? So, once in a blue moon, we put a taster selection bag together. So it's not like when we do goodie bags for our regular products, because quite often we're giving you products that are at the end of their life, so we can afford to discount them because they're being discontinued. Mm -hmm. With Spectrum, it's not. This is all core product. This stays in our warehouse, always in stock it's the same items that we sell year upon year upon year it's not about new with spectrum it's about having core pens pencils tools accessories everything that goes with it so we just add to the catalog okay. we never discontinue out which means we're never exiting things at like a reduced price right so we're never marking them down to sell them out ever right which means when we do discounts, it's normally like 10%, 15%, 20% at a push. So to have 30% off Spectrum Noir is incredible. This bag is less than half price. Wow. Or filled with all of our premium product, less than half price, okay? So if I'm going to start and show you, first of all, it's got in our Aqua Blend pencils, right? Now, these are, I've gone with the Essential collection mm -hmm. because this then gives you all of the colours under the rainbow, okay? We're going to be doing some work with uh, different pencils over the course of the show. So I did promise you we'd do more demo in this show. We're going to be doing more demo work, okay? So these are all of the colours. These are our Aqua Blend pencils, Becky, that have a thicker core so you get less wood and more pigment inside right. the pencil to work with so they're better value than other um watercolor pencils mm -hmm. also you'll see how rich the colors are that's because they are deeply deeply pigmented also they're water soluble so as soon as you add a little bit of water the whole color disperses you will never ever ever have any um, pencil marks you're oh, always going to all of the um pigment is fully water soluble that's the sign of a really good quality um watercolor pencil mm -hmm. now these on their own this tin on their own is 24.99 pounds 34.99 dollars so if you look it's not much more to step up to everything else i'm about to show you in the bag right because you get those you get these special pens i've been raving about these the last few weeks since we got them back into stock becky this is the thing we try and hold everything in stock all the time but sometimes we are waiting between shipments we'll sell out before the next shipment comes mm -hmm. This is a set of six of your different pens in different thicknesses, but most importantly, it's got this amazing ink in it that will allow you to do your brush lettering, to do your doodling, to do your Zentangle, but then be able to work with either watercolour or alcohol pens. That's incredible. I don't know how that works, but it's a really, really, really special type yeah. of ink we have in there, right? Then we move on to our acrylic paint markers. So these are the ones that will go into all your different surfaces. It's basically paint. It is acrylic paint, but in a marker pen. You get the gold and the silver, the um, opaque white and the onyx black in there. So you're getting the four, basically the four pens that you're gonna need the most. And it is acrylic paint, so they will run out eventually. If you've already got those, worth stocking up on them anyway. Uh, pack of tri-blends. I can only put one pack of tri-blends in, so I went with the brushes just to push the limits a little bit. And I went with the one that had the two greys in. Because if you can do an undertone of grey, you can do a shading in grey and then add on any colour you want. So if you do a shading in grey and add on one coat of red, it becomes a shading of red. Or add on one coat of green, it becomes a shading of green, for example. So if you watch Leanne's classes, you'll understand why the greys are the most important. Then we've got some glitter markers, just because I absolutely love glitter markers. We've got uh, in here our gilding flakes, so that if you get, haven't tried the gilding flakes today, you get to try them. If you do, it's brilliant to have that colour selection that goes with it. I've put in one little tube of our glossy highlight. So this is when, you know, if you want to look like a, a petal's got a little raindrop of water. Oh, yeah. Or a balloon and you want it to look three-dimensional, mm -hmm. you add a little bit of the glossy highlight onto it and it dries. It's like a... Um, it looks like a bubble over the top of it. Oh, very, very clever nice. how it works. Right, ink pads. So, most important one, I'll put you the metallic in. So you're going to get the metallic ink pad in there. You're going to be able to stamp with the metallic ink pad and get that lovely metallic finish. There's also one of our quick drying pads in here as well. So you get the metallic and the quick dry. And then I've put in a classic and an illustrator because these are the two different types of nibs. So your classic has your bullet and your chisel. Your illustrators have the best quality. It's like the highest, most premium brush nibs that we do. And if you've never tried them, I want you to experience them. Okay. Now, 
Hundreds of you have gone for this collection today. It is our what we call the anchor product. So this is the main product to run the whole Spectrum Noir event. So we were expecting hundreds of people to go for it. The feedback on it's been outstanding. We've tried to keep it at a really, really affordable price so that even if you're brand new and you don't know where to start, this is the place to start. If you're building up your Spectrum collection, you want to get a few bits and pieces, this is the one to go for. It kind of works for absolutely everybody. So that there has been really popular yeah but this has totally trumped it right really? this this collection here of tools and when i realize what we've got into it here right this here is th this is our, our ink dauber collection mm -hmm. right now if you, you are using your opaque pigment ink pads you absolutely need these but even for just little blending tools you have one of these tools for each of your colors so 40 different colours, don't bother cleaning them and washing them, just keep one per colour and then you can easily switch them out and you can just pick out the colour you want, do your little blending around the edge or if you're using it for your metallic pigments, you pick up the ink from the ink pad and apply it to your stamp, pick up a little bit of ink, apply it onto your embossed image for example, we mm. use these all the time, but you'll find you just want to keep one per colour, you definitely don't want to ever be mixing colours on them, right? So you get 40 of them. Now that on its own, Becky, $24.99. Wow. Right? So $24.99 for that. So it's only £5 more, or it's $32.99. So it's only $7 more to go for this whole collection. So £5, $7 gets you our ink blending mat. This isn't about protecting your surface, although it does protect your surface. What it does do is it gives you a surface here that you can, e it increases the open time. So you put ink onto here, the open time will stay wetter for longer so that you can blend with it. That's okay. the beauty of this. They're 9 99 on their own, that's included, right? You then have uh, some of our round blenders and some of our egg blenders so that you can try the different types of blending to go along with those daubers. We've put a set of our misters in there, so you're going to use, so those are your spray misters. You see us using them all the time, and you need this, Becky, because you got the color. We we've shown Becky color blend pencils on Friday, yep. and I'm going to be doing some work with some wax-based pencils today. If you have the pencil blending solution, it's not for watercolor, this guys, because you just blend your watercolor ones with water. This is like water but for wax-based pencils, it's a solution that is going to allow you to blend them. Soon as I get into that demo, a little bit later, I'm going to warn you now, this was already, I mean, this is already the biggest selling item of the whole day. Once we get into the demonstration, I'll show you how we're going to use this. This will absolutely go bananas, right? Fantastic. So I'm just warning you, this will be where it's at. And can I do one more item? I know I'm... I know I'm supposed to I'll like allow it, Sarah. Right, I'll one more it. item because you all need to get... If you're getting these two, you'd be absolutely just crazy not to pick up on this, right? Now, these very, very special pencils, right? So let me just take, for example, the, um, the wax-based pencils. This is, I'm going to be demonstrating these in a little while, folks, right? So you get in here 12 of the pencils, but actually each one of those pencils has two shades because we're going to blend from the dark into the mid, two different shades of colour in them. So here are all of the colours, so 24 colours, but can you see the royal blue blends with the twilight blue? Different set of colours from the lake blue and the uh, sea form. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up one pencil and know these two will blend together beautifully. And I'll teach you how to get that blend over the course of the show. Okay. Now, these have just come back into stock, right? We've been waiting for them. They've just arrived into stock. If you have our Academy of Colour, then you already know the pens. You've already got these probably because they came in the set. You'll probably be using them and sharpening them down because they only last half as long because they only have a colour in each pencil. They're $14.99 a pack, which I think is exceptional value for a, a 12 pack. It's actually a 13 pack of pencils. So you are getting these, so $11.99 if you're platinum, $19.95, $15.95, right? Today, you buy the wax-based pencils, you can get the water ones absolutely free. Wow. Okay? And the water-based ones, same again, they're all dual-ended. You get the light and then you get two shades of each colour included in that one there's your 24 pencils that come included but 24 pencils for 11.99 or 15.96 and then another set absolutely free is just and actually there is 13 in each one there's, there's 12 in the aqua 13 in the um in the wax based ones because this one's got a blendable one as well um, and okay. it's got like a linen and a white in there that there i'm just going to tell you now 
That is, in terms of volume, because people are ordering several of these, that is our top selling item of the whole day in terms of, it's, it's only 11 99 So it's, it, this, this is the one that's more, but this one here, we've sold more of these than any other thing on the shorter day. Wow. I'm not surprised. With deals like that, I mean, why wouldn't you? Like you say, even if you've got the pencils, you want to take advantage because they are going to wear down over time. Um, lots and lots of people are, are watching. I've got Lillian Kwok saying hello. Um, Beth um, Valone says hi. Um, Trisha Love says three days of Sarah and Becky. Lots of hugs. Great. Um, now, Chris Lewis says, is the f my, watching for my first time. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday. And you're right. This crafty stuff is overwhelming. I've bought a new Gemini 2 and I've been to a, craft a couple of craft shows. Just too much. Settle down today. Watch what we're showing you today. But we do have an absolute wealth of information on the website, on YouTube. You can watch back every show we've done perhaps you think more well, quite interested in those tri blends watch a color me happy show um quite interested in you know, making cards you no know, paper vellums all sorts of different things you can have a look at master classes you can look at craft alongs and we've got lots and lots of information on there for you I'm um, having various um, questions coming in about the products, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to ask Sarah about those once she's got those products um, to hand when she's doing her demos. Um, Lynn Blacklish is saying hello from the Isle of Wight. Betty Weaver, hello from Idaho. Wendy Woodhouse says, I love all those colouring products. Always amazing um, quality. And Lisa T, um, who was on on Saturday, has said, I've just made, emailed the studio with my finished wreath from Saturday's Craft Along. Hopefully we'll have time to show it. We will do our very best. I did see it. Um, on Facebook this morning. It, it looks fabulous. Really, really good. Uh, Mary Pat also says good morning everyone from Montana and Pammy says good morning Sarah, Corinne and the crew from Central um, New Jersey. New Jersey, New York. Rather, New York. Right, we are going to get going on some of these demos so you can see what these products can do for you. The first thing we're going to be looking at are the tri-blend essentials and all of the tri-blend um, bundles that we've got today come with two storage um, trays as well so you're going to be able to keep them all organised aren't you? They do and now tri-blends are our number one top selling alcohol pen globally now okay so all I'll let me just explain to you all of our alcohol pens have exactly the same ink in our ink is a gold standard alcohol based ink it, it gets formulated here in the UK and then we ship it it, it get literally the the formulations get then repeated all over their different production facilities in the world and it is manufactured to a certain standard that then fills all of our alcohol based pens the difference is then just the delivery system Right okay. now, tri blends the way alcohol pen colouring works is you always need a light, a medium, and a dark. So, you need three shades. You can do it with two, but you get the best blend with three shades of the same blend. And I'm going to teach you this in just a few seconds, but I want you to understand about all of the different pens, right? So, if I just take, for example, this pink shade here, right, you can see it tells me on the end these are my uh, pale pink shades, okay. right? So, you've got pale pink four, five, and six. So when I open this out, you've got a light, a medium, and a dark of the same shade of the same pen. Mm -hmm. And what you'll see is as we start and blend them, the lighter color bleaches out, with more alcohol, bleaches out the darker pigment. In the darker pen, you get a seamless, smooth blend, right? Okay. So you get that. These are your bullet nib, right? If we, when you just start coloring, this is the one we're going to be using. So I'm going to teach you how to use this when we get onto the demo in a few seconds. This is our tri-blend set with all of those shades in, right? So what I want you to see is, this is the pack of essential blends, and those are all of the colors that you need. So can you see, we do a dark red, but you actually get three different shades of a dark red. They're just going to blend to give you a perfect red. Mm -hmm. Same with your pale pinks, your bright pinks. Pale pink and bright pink, two totally different colour families. You should never mix them together. As long as you pick up one pen, it's always going to mix, OK? Right. Same with every colour. Now, if you're only going for one item today, this is the one I want you to go for, right? Because this is where you would start. It's got 24 of your different colours, 72 of your pens, right? A lot of you already have this. We extended this with the expansion pack, right? This, by the way, we do not have a lot of stock of. We started the day with just over 50 units. We're down to less than 20. So that is, we still have all the tri blends, guys. They're coming in on delivery every time, but in terms of getting them on the reduced price, 
We started with just over 50. Based on how many people pick them up in Wake Up Call, we've got less than 20 units left. And you are getting, instead of paying $79.99 for them, or $119, mm -hmm. you are getting them for £45 or $65. That includes the markers and, you saw that all of mine were in trays, you get two of the trays for each set, right? 19, I've had the official warning, there is 19 of them left of the deep bed. We still have all of, we still buy them in single pens, we've still got them in little packs of three, but the box set, which is what we bring in for Crafters TV, the box set where we have all 24 markers, we've only got 19 people can check that out. Now, I want you to understand what the difference is between the two packs. Yep. That is what I told you came in with the essential blends, right? If I get you the deep blends, what you get in the deep blends is the deep blends is an extender so it doesn't work as a standalone it's for the people who have the essential blends it gives you 12 new colors so if you look before we never had a magenta a burnt orange an aqua blue a pink violet a golden yellow an alpine green they're all brand new colors that you didn't have however these ones here becky these are extensions so if i put this here like that right yeah can you see on that bottom row here we've got the tans Yep. So we've got three shades of tan, which is your tan blend. Look at your tan shade. It's oh, the same right, colour yeah. family, but it's the deeper version of it. Same there. There's your ice grey blend. There's your ice grey shade. So ice grey blend might give you one, two, five. Ice grey shade will give you six, seven, nine. Mm -hmm. So it gives you the extension ones in there. So if you go for the extender pack, which is only 19 people can do, we have in here 12 of your brand new colours and 12 of your expansion pack, okay? I wanted to explain all of this before I go into the demo because I want it to all make sense when I'm showing you how they work, right? Now, the third set of pens we have today, which has been by far and above the most popular, are our brush pens, right? So, we do all of those markers with those um, bullet nib, right? Mm -hmm. We also offer the tri-blend brush, which have a brush nib on the end of all of them. So, can you see the difference? You can see there the bullet nib, and then you can see oh, the yes. brush nib. Very different, aren't they? So the brush, it takes a little bit more control, takes uh -huh. a little bit more practice, but it gives you a much more seamless blend. And I'm going to show you that as we move into it. Now, with the brush ones, you've just got that one pack of the brush ones, and it gives you, again, 24 colours. What I've done is I've coloured each of them twice here so that you can see what the three shades are. So we go for a wider breadth of colour, because a lot of people add these in to go with their other... Because um, so, remember, it's the same colour, so they all play nice together. So you've got all of those shades and all of these shades as well and you might look at that and think oh well you've, you've got two pinks they're not because they're completely different shades of pink that are going to work together whichever one of the three you go for you buy the pack and you also get the two of your brush uh, the two of the containers like this and you're going to hold them all in your containers now i'm just going to get some stamps and i'm going to start a little bit of stamping becky and okay. i'm going to start demonstrating how tri blend blend tri blend pens work any questions coming in about them now will be the time for you to choose okay um we have uh, um, laurel saying i love spectrum noir pens there are some really stunning deals today for those who don't have many of these items you're absolutely right this is the time for you to sort of build up all of those items that you've got here um, helen patterson says i'm completely new to crafters tv and crafters companion hello Whoa. welcome we're quite nice here you can come again we'll, we'll give you so much information so much knowledge Do you and know it's what's lovely becky yeah. The fact that brand new people poke up the courage to chat. Yeah. Because quite often, do you know what happens? We get a new viewer mm -hmm. and they'll go months of watching our show before they finally have the courage to write in the comments thing, I'm new here, guys. And if we know who's new, yeah. we can tailor our presentation so that we can make sure the new people all understand. Exactly. And I think it's such a lovely community, isn't it? When you have all these people that are watching the shows and commenting, um, people share ideas, they share knowledge. And I think it's a really, really great community um, for you. Deborah Spencer says, Sarah and Becky again. Yay! What a rare and joyous occasion. Oh, I like that oh, idea. Good. We're getting a bit of positivity. It's Absolutely. a good job. I was worried, Becky, they'd be going, not those two again. Be now put trouble I'm all the I'm not weekend. reading those comments. All oh, right, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Not really. Right. Now, Lynn Morton says, I'm a, a very new crafter. Um, out of the ink pad bundles, which bundle should I use as a starter? 
which one would you think a mixture of different ones I suppose because they all do different things so you want one of those alcohol um, stamps uh, 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 inks to do the um, stamping and you'll also want some other ones we're going to go to ink pads a little bit later on so we'll be able to give you some advice about that in a moment um, another question we have is about um, Aquabend pencils um, are mm -hmm. water brushes too wet to use uh, so I like you'll notice we don't use a water brush we normally just use a paintbrush dipped in a bit of water because I like to control and I also often take a lot of the water off on my hand okay. so I would say if you're if you're a newbie you're better off with a good old-fashioned paintbrush and some water okay brilliant and we'll look at ink pads a little bit later so we can give Lynn some advice about what kind of bundle to get together for a starter ink pad can't we we could absolutely do that yep, uh, what I'm doing here by the way is I've just got a nice open floral stamp and I've, I'm going to stamp it with the alcohol proof ink yep. right so can you see it says alcohol proof the best way to remember this is if you're doing alcohol pen blending you need alcohol proof ink right and I think what I'll do is I will stamp it twice because we might end up doing a few little bits and I'm just choosing a nice easy shape so that it's more for you to see the blending than for, for me to, to do anything okay. else on this one, right? So there's that shape. Now, you're just gonna look at this and we're gonna look and say, right, what's a nice kind of shade for us to color with? Should we do, so into that flower, coral would be nice. Do you know one of my favorite ones to do? I like a turquoise. Okay. I love a green turquoise. So there's a blue, um, jade green in there is quite nice. There's another, the, deep, the deeper jade green, let's have a little think. What else can I colour with that might be nice? I haven't got all my pens in here, you see. I'm just ice blue. No, I think I might not do blue. Dusty purple. That's in the, that's in the, this is in the, I'm, I'm trying to find ones that aren't always in the extended right here. Let's go coral. Let's go coral, right? And then I can start. Now, watch this. If I, I'm starting with the lightest one. So this has got coral one, three and six in. Okay. Right? So. If I was just to colour flat, what you would do is you would lie all of the colour down like this. The beauty of colouring with alcohol pens, Becky, yeah. is that you get this kind of really smooth lay down of colour, right? So there's, there is just colouring with that one shade. Watch what happens when we start and do the blend now, right? So I'm going to start, I'm going to put the lightest shade in first. Doesn't matter if I haven't gone right to the end, we'll perfect it in a little while, right? Then you come in with the darkest shade and we do about a third with the darkest shade, right? Okay. And at the moment you look and you think, oh, well, that's not blending, because I've got dark and you've got the dark hits the light. So watch what happens. You come to the mid and I do little circular motions over the end of where the dark one finishes. And what happens is the dark one finishes and then the medium one starts and you then blend that colour out. So now we don't see where the dark one finishes and the medium oh, one that starts. That's so effective. But you can see the medium and the light. So yep. now we do the same again, Becky. We go over with the lightest pen, the medium into the light with that one there. So can you see? And that, now what I've got is I've got that ombre yeah. of light to medium to dark. That's wow. what this is what a regular pen would give you. Yep. This is what a Spectrum Noir pen will give you. And you've got that lovely blend. You can go over as many times as you want and get that blend perfect. Let's try a little bit of green, should we? Citrus green, right? So I can do exactly the same on the leaf. Mm -hmm. I can do, you would color the lightest color first of all. So you always put what we call a base of the, of the lightest shade down, right? So there's my lovely base of the citrus green. So that mm -hmm. one there is citrus green one. I'm gonna come in now with three and actually, I'm not going in the middle. What I'm doing is I'm going over the center part of the leaf where it would be darker, right? And then yep. you come from the dark to the medium. Little um, blends around the end like that. So we've gone dark to medium. And then we just go medium to the light. And now we've got that lovely ombre, light to medium. And look how perfect this is. Wow. And I want you to see it's any, any color we pick it up with. So let's go and do the... Um, Here's a bit of pink, pink violet, right? As soon as I pick it up, I just pick up one pen, Becky, and I know I'm always going to get that absolutely perfect blend of colour. So one pen, dark one, uh, lightest one down first. There's my dark, and you're looking and thinking, never going to blend, never going to blend. Yeah, it does look like that from here. Doesn't it look like yeah. it? Yeah. So, but you've got, because you've got the dark colour in first, the lightest colour in first, you've got a base of alcohol. Mm -hmm. You cut from the dark to the medium, 
As soon as you start going with the medium, it starts bleaching out that colour. That's what it does. The, look at that, that really clever right. blend. Mm -hmm. And you go from the medium and then you take it up a little bit further. And then we go from the medium into the lightest one. And as soon as you get that lightest one, what happens is there's more alcohol in the light one. So the alcohol in the light one actually blends out into that dark one so that you get total ombre of one into the next. You get that lovely shading all going from one to the next to the next. Versus if I'd just done a base colour, you're only getting a base colour with this, which is just... Who wants to colour like that when they yeah. colour like that, right? Does it matter what um, cardstock you're using? Uh, right, so I'm working here on the Nina cardstock. Right. And actually, I know we've got the tri-blend brush, brush on the sheet, but I'm working with the Essentials collection here. So I'll get you the Essentials. That was my fault, guys, for not explaining that, right? So that is me showing you how the Essentials blend set works. There we go. Perfect. That is all of the colours on the Essentials blend. Mm -hmm. Now, remember what I said? If you go for the extender pack, mm -hmm. this top set here are all brand new colours. So the, I was trying to be really careful to, I was trying to use the right set. Uh, so for example, antique pink, completely mm -hmm. new colour. Didn't have that before. Uh, muted brown, alpine green, all completely new colours. So alpine green, and watch what a completely different shade it is to that one. Look how that, it's, it's like, a, it's more, well, surprisingly, more alpine-y, Becky. More <laughs> alpine -y, It is more right? alpine -y, definitely. <laughs> and I'm coming in, look at that dark shade up on there. Totally different shading of green. Right, we'll come from the dark into the mid, and now you've got that nice fruity kind of like zesty alpine shade in there. And then the mid comes into the light, and again, you always think it's never going to blend, but that alpine green is exactly the perfect colour to blend. Whereas, if you ever did this, where's my other green? Right, so here was citrus green, yeah, this one alpine green. Watch what happens if I try and blend ones from the different shade, right? So if I go with um, citrus green first of all, yeah, and then I move to alpine green, right? You look and you think, oh, they're, oh. All, they're all green, right? Yeah. No, but totally then I blend different. the alpine green into this one here, and oh, then no. this, them two blend, but that one then won't blend at all to the citrus. Can you see? Yeah. It's just not, it's just not blending. You've still got, you can still see the line. Yeah. It hasn't blended. This is blended into here, no problem. This hasn't blended to here. It's because they're a different colour family. So you right. always need to use the same colour family. Now that is the top 12 are brand new colours. So these are the deep blends. Oh, you've got the details on the screen. These are shades of the same colour. So let me find a nice shade. There's my blue turquoise shade. Oh, I found one in a jade green. Right, here we go, guys, right? So in the jade green, in the jade green blend, I've got one, two, and three. So mm -hmm. let me just show you. One all over the base. Right. It's a lovely colour, that, isn't it? Beautiful. They're so rich, these colours, and vibrant. Very vi They are, aren't they? Very yeah. vibrant and deep, right? I use this one for colouring, like, um, little girls' dresses a lot. Oh, yes. I like this one for that, if I ever do, like, um, do a lot of, like, little... I like little girls' dresses, and always lovely to blend with, right? So then I'm going into the medium shade, mm -hmm. all right? And then I go from that medium shade up to the light shade, right? But that is as deep as we go. Right, that is yep. as deep as you can get it. If I show you these jade green, so that was one, two, and three, right? This one here, four, five, and seven. Right, so your four is even deeper than that one. So let me just okay. start, if I start with the seven, let me start here just to show you. Look how much deeper that is, right? So I'm coming in with the very, very dark one. So that's starting at seven. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come seven up to six. Uh, sorry, is it six or is it five? Seven up to five. So I'll get like a deeper shade. All right. Five is coming to four. So we're blending up a little bit more again. So we get more depth in each of the colours. And I actually didn't put the base of alcohol pen down to start with. So it just makes it a little bit harder to blend. So four. Mm -hmm. Then we step four to three. Right, four steps down to three. Again, we're not seeing any end where one ends and the next one starts. You've got that lovely seamless shade. Three comes down to two, and we keep them going until we bleed all of that line out. So there is my two shade in there. Two comes down to one. And what you'll see is you've got a greater breadth of color. 
So where we go for the extender pack, this wow. is what you would get with the normal. This is the depth of colour you get with the extender pack. Oh, right? that is incredible. So that is because we used jade green shades, <laughs> which is this one, and added it on to jade green blend, which is that one there. So jade green shades up here, then move down into jade green blend. And that is why you would go for the extender pack and you're gonna start with three of the colors and you're gonna extend with the extension pack. So I'm just gonna go back to the beginning. You are brand new, you want this one, right? I'll put the details back on the screen. That is your essentials. That is for brand new customers getting started, right? All those of you who are brand new that wanna extend and add to your collection, the expansion pack, and I did tell you we were at 19 of these left. Uh, Dean's gonna check for us if it's still 19 or if they're dropping down. If you know that you want the extender one, I want you to go and get ready to check that out now. I'm gonna show you the brush pens next, so maybe so yours just a little bit, but based on how many people are watching, it's a very, very busy show. We don't have many. 15, right? We're just being totally honest with you. There are 15 of these left. We'll let you know as they're going, right? Now, should we have a look at the brushes? Absolutely. Should I stamp another image out? Yes. Should we get going with another one? How yeah. about, I mean, you kind of fail, but do a beautiful uh, butterfly. I love a good butterfly. Right. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go for a rose. Because I always do butterflies, and I'm going to do my butterfly again in a bit. Right? So, because we're going to use, again, all of the alcohol pens, we're using alcohol proof ink mm -hmm. now i know this isn't we haven't specifically added this to the show but everything spectrum noir on the website is on a deal this week so if you go and have a little look if you don't already have it you've got 30 percent off all of our individual spectrum noir items this week only right so i'm going to put my rose down here and these stamps just i've just cho chosen nice big nice big open images yeah, to be able to idea. practice blending with right shame i haven't done my stamp very well but you'll get you'll get the gist right right so my tri blend brush let me just have a little look at this shape i always like to make myself a color chart so i can see what colors i like to work with so like i love a good purple I might get a purple blend in i love a bright pink I might get a bit of bright pink going out um pink violet's another nice shade and one but i can't do them all in purple should we do a little bit hang on, i've got a pink and a purple there and then should we do a nice green i'll get the alpine green and the brush pens for yep, the brush right lovely. so here we go right so watch the difference now i'm going to take these pinks so as long as you use the ones from the same pen they will blend together beautifully well so let's do this lovely one around here right this is a very very bright pink now look at this i'm using I'll turn this over just so that we don't um we don't disturb you with one, one colour the next, right? I'm, I'm having to go, be very, very careful as we're going into all those edges, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'm coming down to the very, very deep shade. And again, you're not going to think this all blends because you'll see how deep it is. Look at how dark that lovely deep shade is in there, right? So I'm just putting a little bit of the deep shade in. That's never going to blend. You would think not, wouldn't you? Yeah. But they all work, right? Then you come in with the medium one. And because we've got that lovely brush nib, we're just going over the edge with the medium. And what happens is the medium bleaches out all of the colour in the darker one. And sometimes it just takes a little bit more blending. Mm -hmm. But you'll see, you go over and over and over it until you've completely bleached out that line, which I have absolutely done there. I've completely bleached out. Now, if you ever want to darken it a bit more, you can always go back to the darker one, add a bit more in, so you can always add what you can't do is take away, right? So I'm right. adding more depth of colour and then I'm coming in and I'm blending that colour out, right? So I've got that blended out and then I come back to the very light one and that very light one bleaches over the medium one and gives me that lovely ombre, right? Now that is me taking it to the extreme with a lovely deep shade yeah. of the pinks, right? That's incredible. You can really see that and it'll be mm. exactly the same. I'll do one more, so I'll take this right round here Look at those lovely brush nibs for, for being able to colour a large space at once, right? I'm going to take that dark one right under here. Might take it out to there a little bit as well, right? Dark into the medium. And the more, as soon as you've got more alcohol down, so basically more pen, the more times you go over it, the easier it is for you to be able to blend with because it's nice and wet and juicy, right? So I'm getting out and see there, it's starting to pool a little bit on the top. It's nice and juicy. I can always go back. Add a little bit more dark into there 
and you've got that lovely brush nib so it's easy to do and then all you do dark into the mid now Leanne is our expert at all this and you should watch some of her shows go back and watch them on catch up and you'll see that the lovely way she teaches everyone how to do this now going right over the edge there again making sure I get that lovely blend lovely ombre all the way through and then using that brush nib people seem to worry about going over the dark shade with the light but mm. honestly it doesn't infect the brush nibs at all right so there's that lovely shading and then I can come in with the uh, where was the alpine let's do a little bit of alpine here so again because you've got that lovely brush nib look at this here so I can just pop the um the lightest shade of the alpine down there Becky yeah there is all of my coloring on here then I'm going to use the dark one so I'm coming in the middle and you see how much easier it is when you're working with those brush nibs. Oh yeah, that right? little flickiness. There's only 11 deep blends left, by the way, guys. Um, if you want the deep blend, I, I can't urge you enough. You can't wait until the check. I'm going to give you a chance to check out in a few minutes. Uh, those deep blends will be gone before the checkout happens. So if you know you're wanting the deep blends, please go and check them out now. There's only 11 of them left. Uh, 10 left. <laughs> Dean's keeping us right as we go on. <laughs> Um, but there is, I've got plenty of these brush ones to get us through the show, but it's the brush that has been the most popular. Look at that, look at that lovely ombre effect. Gorgeous. And I always think, you look at that, but what you don't appreciate, Becky, is if you just use regular felt tip pens or regular, you know, you hadn't done the blend, yeah. that leaf there is what you would have got. Yeah. Totally right? different. You want this, not this. Yeah. And this is the beauty of it. You want that lovely ombre effect every time. So your tri-blend brush are, are giving you that lovely... You've got the nice little thin pieces. You've got the lovely big areas you can cover. Mm -hmm. Or you can do all of those like, little flicking techniques. But look at how much alcohol we've got down here. They're mm. very, very juicy markers to be able to do all that blending with. They Fantastic. really are. I could sit and colour all day. I mean, that, I just love the effects that you get on here. Yeah. Really. And again, I'm going to take you back to that deep blend for those of you... It's the extender pack. This is what you can do with your essentials. This is what you do when you get the ex extender pack of the extra shades. They're fantastic. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll get sorted out. I've got loads more demoing to do all Brilliant. show, guys. That's just kind of the start of it. But I wanted to explain about them tri blend pens before the extender pack goes out of stock. They're only on that pricing which is a better, so 30% is what we've got off the regular stuff on the website. Everything that we're doing today on Crafters TV is better than what's just listed on the website for regular people. So you're getting that huge saving and we're giving you two of those trays free, whether you go for the brush, the regular or the extender pack. Wonderful. And we're getting lots of people messaging in that are new. I'm so excited by this. Oh, she lovely. Looks, this is really nice, isn't it? But like you say, people watch, but they don't often message. She, see, look, sorry, Sheila Swift Heap says, good afternoon. I only discovered crafters last week and I am loving the tutorials. I'm a seasoned crafter across many crafts and mediums, but you're also knowledgeable and clever. And she's also measured in again, saying, I watched a lot of crafting channels and tutorials, but I am blown away by everyone's knowledge and skill level. I'm learning so much. That's brilliant news. That, I really love that to hear. If anyone else is watching that's new, please message in. Um, Hannah says, I love a six shade blend because I'm so extra. Aren't we all? Um, Handcrafted by Gaz says, my partner is watching with me and playing with the tri-blend pens we have here and has placed his first order. Congratulations. Nice. Um, Helena says, I love the brush blend pens. And Suzanne says, wow, excellent. They are absolutely gorgeous. You are learning so much um, in this show today. Um, I think, you know, that is the key thing, you know, being able to give you these wonderful deals um, and give you the, the great prices and great collections that we've put together is really really handy um, next thing we're going to have a look is a Nina cardstock yeah so this is a cardstock that Sarah's just been using this is the one we you hear us talking about quite a lot and um, this has got a very sort of smooth um, surface to it so it's absolutely perfect um, for when you want to use your alcohol markers now this is a three pack you're going to get 48 sheets in total um, this is nine pounds 98 or thirteen dollars 98 um, platinum price is seven pounds 98 or eleven dollars 18 Do you this know what is I want to say about that yeah. one Becky I want everyone to know to no, it's, yep. that's what I use for all of this. This is perfectly normal. Okay. Your ink should be going through to the back. That's because you need a, a, a special paper that has been pulped 
to work with alcohol pen. You can use your alcohol pens on any cardstock. It's just, if you think about it, re using a regular cardstock with an alcohol pen, think of your cardstock like cotton wool. It'll just suck all of that straight through, right? Whereas if you use it on a Nina card, the Nina card has a nice open too, so it allows it to move around all of that surface. So it's about having that right cardstock. You will notice we always, without exception, always use the Nina cardstock. Gets the best results. Excellent. Now, if you want your pens, you want your carry case. Look at this, stylish. Taking it all into all of the, your craft classes. Um, beautiful looking bag. You can store all of your pens inside it. We've only got one, one layer of pens in here. But um, we, it's important to keep your pens um, flat because otherwise they're going to, you know, all the ink's going to run to one end. And obviously they're tri-blends, we want to keep everything flat. So this kind of bag is great. You use it as a carry case um, for taking your pens to whichever um, venue you're going to be working at. Maybe you're an artist. Maybe you want to be taking this to a museum because you're going to be doing some work um, that you want ha to have every single pen available to you. You can pop that in there. You can be able to put, pick fit 48 of markers inside this carry case here it's very sturdy um, you know it's not going to they're not going to fall out they're not going to get damaged because they are you know they are a, a considered purchase when you buy your pens normally but today with all these special deals I mean it makes it really clear that if you want to get some pens this is the opportunity for you to take the price for this is £29.99 or $37.49 platinum price is £23.99 for this uh, that's $29.99 absolutely brilliant um, Laurel says thanks Sarah for such a great explanation for the differences between the blends and the shades it's always had me confused that's there really handy go. isn't it um, the seven Seven. Shades left. I need one. Set. You've had it. Because oh. you, you're not. You you work for another hour and fifteen minutes. You've absolutely. There's no chance. I no, don't think no you to make fifteen minutes, let alone an hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> there are seven left. You could take this one on though. Can I? Uh, seven left. Um, you need to check them out. I'm just going to warn you as well. What happens when the website gets to this stage? Yep. If we have seven left, but twenty people trying to get them, that's what happens when sometimes the oversell and we have to refund people. Right. Okay. So if you want to, I'm just going to say that may happen when you're getting because we're getting up at the wire. Mm -hmm. So if you're going for any of the tri blends, just go and get checked out right now right fine excellent thank you very much for that and i like the fact that you told me i can have those <gasps> right um we are going to go for a quick break to give you the opportunity to check out your baskets as sarah said there's not many of those if you've got them in the baskets check out now and we'll see you in a couple of moments welcome to club inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're, they're um, really skilled at what they do. And they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the products. Crafters TV is 
so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Hello everybody, welcome back. You're watching Watching <laughs> Launch Day and it's all about Spectrum Noir. We have got some incredible deals for you. Um, lots of sort of bundles that we put together, but also on the website, the Spectrum Noir items are 30% off. This is your great opportunity to see lots of different Spectrum Noir products. We're looking at ink pads, pencils, pens, and getting ideas about how to use them. We've got lots of people joining us today who are new, who are new to Crafters Companion, new, perhaps new to crafting. Um, so this is a great show for you to see all of the different techniques that Sarah is going to be putting out there to show us how you use these things. Um, to, to the extent that Rhonda, who we, we see a lot, Rhonda Crowley, um, Crowley um, she says, I'm not new for to crafting. I know you're not, Rhonda, because we've seen you many times, but it never ceases to amaze me how much I learn by watching every day. Just when you think there's nothing else to learn, watch a, a CTV show. Thank you, Rhonda. That's really great to hear, isn't it, that people are Fabulous. still le learning. Do you know, the thing is, this is the brilliant thing about having so many of us. We all have different skills, but also we all, all teach in a different way. So we'll have done these techniques so many times here on Crafters TV, but we all have a different way of explaining it. And sometimes it might be products you already have at home. Like someone was saying, that, oh, I'm watching you with the tribal and pens. It's made me get mine out now and mm -hmm. have a bit more play with them. And um, what I'm going to do now, there will be, I want to know in the comments who already has the duo colour pencils, right? Because these were, those of you who did our Academy of Colour programme, these were Autoships 5 and 6. So Autoship 5 had the wax pencils in, Autoship 6 had the watercolour pencils in. If that is you, you're probably ready for a restock of the pencils already. If you don't have these, my word, today is your lucky day because we do and buy the wax, get the water-based ones absolutely free. Okay? Wow. Now, I'm going to start with wax-based pencils because a lot of people don't know how wax based pen watercolour pencils, a little bit of colour, water out, easy enough to demo. Wax based pencils are a little bit harder to demo with, but I've got the cheat solution for it, right? Now, these are, I love these pencils, because it's two colours that are going to work together. So poppy and raspberry, right? So what you're going to do is, if we're going to shade out this bit here, watch here, I can go with the darker shade, the poppy in the middle, then I switch round and we go poppy into raspberry and they're going to blend together right so i'm going to do we're going to do the same i'm going to put all the poppy shades around here and then i'm going to go poppy into my raspberry so i've got two shades of color and actually you can blend all different shades because then i can come and take my lemon and canary yeah. so i can go from the poppy into a bit of lemon and i can go from the lemon into a little bit of canary now i know what you're thinking you're thinking sarah they haven't blended you've just got lines of colour. Yeah. <laughs> you've just gone from red to yellow. You can't tell me that's a blend when you've just seen blends with the um, the Spectrum Noir tricolours, right? Don't worry, all will be revealed in just a second. I'm just All I'm doing is layering up one colour, the next colour, the next colour, and then I'm gonna show you how we blend, right? Now, you can either blend them by going over and over and over with the pencil, mm -hmm. or you can use this magic portion, right? right? pencil blending solution now it's even got one of those special caps on you know that the kids can't undo okay and you want some of your uh, some paper stumps right so look here i've dipped my paper stump into the blending solution 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do little circular motions over top of this. And what it's going to do is it's going to emulsify the ink. The Charlotte, I reckon, will get even closer for this, right? So what happens is it emulsifies the ink. So you can see that there. Yeah. We're coming even closer. And we're going to go right in just on this area here, right? So I start with small circular motions. And as soon as you do, you lose the pencil lines. Oh, my goodness. It emulsifies the ink and it blends one right out to the next. Wow, so can that's you see incredible. The emulsification right out from one shit. I mean, is, isn't that? <laughs> yes, that's how close I wanted, Charlotte. That's absolutely perfect, right? As soon as you give it a rub, emulsifies that ink blends out one to the next and I'm not being funny guys but I thought I would choose a really difficult colour so I've gone from red to yellow you can't get much better blending and emulsification no. right I'm going to show you again in here this is how it looked we started off so we put the deeper red right so that was our raspberry then we went to the poppy so you get a little as long as you're using ones in the same colour in the same pencil they'll blend a bit yeah as soon as you bring in another pencil no chance you can't just colour red into yellow and hope it's going to blend. It just doesn't, right? But I can blend that yellow into this yellow because they're in the same pen pencil, right? If you then want to go and get that lovely ombre, you're just dipping it in the pencil blending solution. You're going to emulsify that wax. You're going to blend all of the wax together and you're <laughs> going to get that ombre of one into the next. Oh, I am that really impressed. It's incredible, okay? Now... That is, that only works so well, guys, because you've got these amazing pencils, right? You can't do that with watercolour pencils. You must have the um, colour blend. You must have the wax-based pencils, OK? This, thebomb.com. Isn't it just thebomb.com? Yeah. This, remember, is inside that... I'm just going to call it magic solution inside the super awesome bundle, <laughs> right? So this, is the, this was the item that I told you was the best seller on the whole deal. It's on the bottom of the screen. You get... The, the 40 of your, um, what do we call it, ink daubers, you then get the actual thing of blending fluid. Now, if you just want the blending fluid, guys, go on the website. Just stock the blending fluid. It's available individually on its own, right? However, this is it. Basically, you are going to buy these anyway. For £5 or $7 more, you get this. You also get the ink applicator. You're also going to get the spray misters. You're going to get the egg daubers. And you're going to get that lovely base mat that you're going to use all the time. But that blending solution really does make all of your blending so much more professional because you've got that solution. So that's, that's in that kit that's at the bottom of the screen, right? Yeah. Now, before I move off these pencils, because I've got loads of demos to show you, I just want to show you what sort of support we have, okay? So you see this here? This is one of the tutorials that is available on YouTube. So if you go and have a little look on our Academy of Colour class, this is one of the classes that Leanne taught. So she actually taught you using the stamp. This is where you're going to start. You're going to apply your first colour. What colour in the blending solution? You're going to apply the next colour and then you're going to blend it out with the blending solution and that is going to give you this sort of effect, right? Wow. She also does a class using that same pencil, same set of pencils and the same stamp onto vellum. So colouring on vellum, <sighs> blending on vellum with two shades using your blending solution onto vellum gives you this sort of effect. Wow. Right? Or, oh, and I'm going to have to do this one. Right, I'm going to, I'm coming in guys, I'm going to get out where is that pair? I'm going to have to go back to the tri-blend brush. Is that all right? Because I want you to see another level of epicness awesomeness, right? So I want the tri-blend brush, because I know loads of you have been checking out for the tri-blend brush. I want you to see when you use the tri-blend brush and these pencils on top of each other, right? So where did I put my ink pad? Sorry, you put your ink pad somewhere really special. Don't know where it is, so we're going to have to use a brown one instead. Never mind. Flowers look nice in brown. Right, it's still alcohol proof right we do mm -hmm. these finesse ink pads in different shades and colors so go and have a little look on the website we do them in four different colors but you always want the alcohol proof right now i love a little bit of oh vintage blue is quite nice should we have a little bit of vintage blue right mm -hmm. so watch this like i taught you oh, i'm gonna go for the brush actually because it's a little bit easier with the brush uh, true blue blue turquoise Mm, yeah, maybe we could do blue turquoise. Yeah, I think we'll do blue turquoise. Right, watch this. So, lightest shade first, right? So we're going to put all of that lovely base of colour down, right? 
Then you're going to come in with your brush and just put a little bit of the dark pen in the middle here, right? So a little bit of the dark pen and I'm using that lovely point mm -hmm. to kind of get a bit of a feel going right in the middle, Becky. And I know I'm not getting a chance to colour the whole flower, guys, but I'm just wanting to give you a little bit of a feel for this, right? You're going to use your brush nib and we're going to blend out that dark blue using little brush stroke techniques now. Dark blue into yeah. the medium blue, right? Uh -huh. So we've got all that lovely blend out and I'm going to blend you there. And then I'm going to uh, swizzle this around and I'm going to go with my light blue and I'm going to blend the light blue in so that we get like a lovely ombre. And instead of doing the little circular motions this time, I've done like a flicking motion. So it's just to show you another technique using them tri-blend pens, right? Now, once you've coloured with your tri-blend pens, you've got that lovely ombre, right? Yeah. What I've actually got here is I've got a one where we've done the turquoise in that lovely ombre effect. This has all been done with the shading. What it then has is the wax-based pencils over the top, right? So watch here, <laughs> all I'm doing with this one is I'm gonna add these pencils for a little bit of depth and dimension. Oh, I love this. Love doing this technique. What's that there? So can you see we're just adding them in, Becky? So wherever you've got that little bit of shading, yep. we're just coming right around the side with all of these little bits. And it just gives that lovely pencil feel to it. And it just it's just like a, a nice kind of professional finish. And you're going to take one and then you're going to do what's the other one called C form. Love that yep. shade. You're going to blend the C form out on there as well. Now it's up to you if you want to keep that lovely little pencil marking or if you want to use your blending solution and you want a blending solution over the top of it. And you right? can do that over the top of the pens? Oh, you go straight over the top of the pens with it. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to come in. Uh, where's my... I've, do you know, I put things down. I'm an absolute liability. I've got a nice big one now. But never mind, you'll get the idea, right? So now's my nice big blending solution. And then again, I'm just blending around this and you get that same lovely ombre from light to the medium to the dark. So if you don't want... The blending, if you don't want to be able to see the shading that all of the, um, you don't want like the, the dimension that you get from the pencil. Mm -hmm. If you just want the colour, look at that lovely shading you get. Now I always say to people, it's a little bit like, as soon as you start to add pencil colouring over the top, mm. you take something into high definition. Yeah. And again, so that's going to show you, this is coloured with alcohol pens. This is adding the pencil in. This is adding the depth. So look at that. That's in high definition versus regular. This is alcohol pen blending, lovely. Mm -hmm. Alcohol pen blending with pencils over the top. So it just shows you there are so many techniques. And I've only used there the wax-based pencils. In that duo colour, you get the wax-based and you are getting the water-based pencils absolutely free. You buy one, you get the other one for free. That you, is fantastic. What a clever way of just adding that huge amount of dimension um, to what you're doing. Um, Jamie, Jamie says, all, all good, brilliant colouring. Um, Julie Lowe says, I love using my colour blend pencils with the tri-blend markers, able to get some great results. That's the kind of results she can get. I'm, I'm, I'm sold on that. Um, Pammy says, I love using this technique. Um, Suzanne says, wow, it looks really good on the vellum. It did it absolutely beautiful. Betty Weaver says, Sarah, you always mesmerise with your demos. Oh, oh, thank you. That's nice to say. Um, Carolyn says, I've got the deep blends. Woo! Um, she didn't say who, I just added that bit in. Um, oh, yeah, have so, got any deep blends left? I wonder if they've all been I checked out. I don't know. Can't be... Oh, it's a couple left. There's a couple left. A couple left. Yeah. Get them checked out. Sarah's explanation made me finally understand the difference. Thank you so much for taking the time to explain. Um, they are, that, that, that is looking absolutely brilliant. I love those pencils. They look um, gorgeous and, and such a great price as well. Like you say, not just one pack, but two packs for that kind of price. Um, that is um, something you want to do. Um, the next item we're going to be looking at is the pencil paper puzzle, the ones right here next to me that I'm looking at. Silly Becky. Now, if you're buying these pencils, you want to have the best possible materials to be working on. Um, these pencil pads, um, you've got 160 GSM um, is your uh, card stock that you've got, or paper stock that you've got in here. Um, I'd flick through them, but they are just white paper. So look, oh, beautiful, look at those. They've got, um, they've got a bit of a, 
a, a slight texture on them in comparison to the Nina Carlstock, which is really super smooth. They're not got a texture like watercolour, and they are somewhere in between, so they've got a bit of a texture to them. And um, £14.98 or $23.98. Not for one, but for two. Um, £11.98 is your platinum price or £19.18 um, for those. Now, you may want to also take advantage of the deal we've got on some black um, paper pads. Um, these, look, it's black. Look at that, it's super black. Sometimes you get black paper and it's not really black. It's more sort of like dark grey. This is super, super black. I mean, I'm thinking with all of those, those, those um, uh, beautiful ink pads we've got, all those metallic ink pads, that would work really well. I'm loving these. You're getting two packs again, £14.98 or $23.98. Platinum price is £11.98 or $19.18 for both of these. Um, the next thing we're going to be looking at, uh, we're going to be looking at the aqua pens. Yeah. Yes, and Fantastic. I am good to go, guys. I'm ready to rock and roll with me demo, OK? Right, love aqua pens. Now, let me tell you, aqua pens, if you're wanting to get started, aqua pens are the best way to get started because they're very intense watercolour, mm -hmm. but they are control... It's, you don't... Like, with the alcohol pens, you're practising getting that blend together. With the watercolour, there's kind of no way to go wrong with it, is the best way I can describe it, right? Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hydrangea, and I'm going to use, because we're using water-based pens now, I'm going to use waterproof dye. So let me show you the difference between the two, okay? Oh, here's my alcohol one that I couldn't find before, right? So, if you're doing alcohol pen colouring, you need alcohol-proof dye. You need the one with one of the Spectrum Noir pens on. If you're doing alcohol... Uh, what? Uh, water colouring, you need the one with the paintbrush on the front. Okay. Because that's going to resist the water, right? So it's the opposite type to what you would normally work with. So I'm going to take loads of the ink here and I'm going to pop this down. Lots of little light stamping, like this. And then we're going to stamp down that hydrangea and I'm stamping onto watercolour card. Okay. Right? So there's my watercolour card. Now, top tip I can give you is when you do, and I will Charlotte and get nice and close on this, do this with all of your pens, right? Because instead of looking at the colour on the edge of the pen, look at the colour when it's actually laid down. Mm -hmm. So, for example, all you would do with these is you would put a little bit of colour down like this, right? Get your water brush and then just blend your colour out so that you can see what it's like when it's blended right out, right? Now, can you see that? It doesn't blend all the way out because I took a little bit of a while to do it. I can do this. I can put my colour down. I can pick it up here. And I can blend so now you don't see where the end of one finishes and the next one starts, Ooh. right? There's always a cheat way, guys, to do it, right? If you're too, like me, and you're too much chit-chat, right? So, you can colour in. What we can either do, right, is I can come in with my pen and I can get my water brush so that I'm a little bit wet, right? Now, bear in mind, we've got the aircon blasting in here because it's absolutely roasting, right? I'm going to put a little bit of colour down like this and then drag all of that colour. Can you see, I immediately went down and realised I was too wet. So I was able to add a bit more down. I'm going to put the colour here and pick it up. Right, so watch this colour, then pick it up, and then drop it out. That is me being way too wet, folks. Take that up. Now you're talking, right? Tiny little bit of colour, and I can paint with that tiny, weeny little bit of colour in there. That's it, that's what you want. You want that nice watercolour effect. Right, now that is my red violet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop a little bit of colour. Look at a completely different shade here now. I'm now going to pop down. This is a little bit of orchid. So now I'm putting that orchid down and I'm popping my shading down on here. And then once I've got enough of it, I can blend that right out and I can get that lovely kind of ombre going on the shading there. And you just bleach that right through. You'll learn with me when I do colouring shows, Becky. I'm an absolute liability because I can't talk and colour at the same time. I get a little bit of the way there, and then I do too much, far too much, uh, far too much chit chat, and I get lost off with where I'm going. I'm just getting lost in watching you do this. I think it's lovely because I, you wouldn't. I would be thinking, oh, aqua pens. I've just got to use them as a pen. But you know, using them as a as a painting medium, they, it's looking absolutely beautiful. Well, look, it's just nice and easy to do, isn't it? And this is much e I find this much easier. I'm controlling, mm. picking up a little bit of the colour from here yeah. and just doing that blending through. Then I can go into the next one, pick up a little bit of that colour and blend it through. And it means you don't need to be overly precise. Mm -hmm. And we just get that lovely shading going all the way through there. 
I love to do this kind of watercolour effect on here. Um, and it's just, it's just so nice. Now, this is the same whether you do the watercolour pens or whether you do the watercolour pencils, right? Okay. The watercolour pencils, though, it is a lot easier because you don't need to worry about the pen, pencil drying, like mm -hmm. ink dries. So I'm having to go quite quick because my ink dries as soon as it hits the, the paper. Yep. Whereas when we're working with a watercolour pencil, and actually I can get the watercolour pencils out and show you, you don't need to worry about the watercolour pencils drying because they, they're going to go straight away. In fact, let's, let's get a little bit of that out and do it. Um, here we go. My watercolour pencils now. So these are your duo colour pencils again, guys. So I'm, I'm switching now between the pens and the pencils. So let me show you a little bit different here. I can afford to go straight in with one shade and I can actually do one shade and blend out into the next one. Pick it up with my water brush and then look, the water brush is absolutely just a bit. It's, it's doing like what the blending solution was doing on the other pencils. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a little look. Let's do the pencils down here so that you can see them. So I'm going to go in with my dark green here, flip over my light green round the edge. So I, I, God, I've got to demonstrate everything now. Watercolour pens, watercolour pencils. Yeah, you're going to do the whole wax lot. Wax-based pencils and your Spectrum Noir pens, right? So can you see, as soon as I add a little bit of water... Oh, yes. We start and get that lovely... Cut. It's, they're very, very, very highly pigmented. And I've got that lovely ombre shade from one to the next. Mm, look at that. I love that kind of shading where it's nice and light down here, but it's a totally different colour in there, right? So that is the pencil... Let me go in with the pen. So let's get a little bit of ocean green in the pen. So again, that's quite dark. This is why you should always pick up. See, green's a bit bluey. Uh, let's have a little look. This is why you want to be looking at your... Sarah, just do what you're saying. Instead of, I'm looking at this and thinking, do you know what? Budge green's quite nice. Moss. Moss is a lovely shade of one to do this oh, with. Nice, isn't it? So mossy is a little bit of moss. Yeah, right. So there's me moss, right? So it's much easier. Instead of looking at the end of the pen, I want you to look at the colour chart that you've made yourself. And I'm going to go there. Yeah, there's my nice moss shade. Coming all the way down. So it's this... nice and light. And then you can pick up more colour. Anytime you want something, come in and pick up the deeper shade and add that deeper colour. Look at that, into the middle. That's great, isn't it? Is no this problem. stamp from the Academy of Colour? It is from the Academy of Colour. Are people asking? Yes. Because I think all of the stamps that you've used have been so beautifully clear and large. These are perfect. Well, well that's why they're in the Academy of Colour, I suppose. That's why, um, that's why they were made. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Jennifer wants to know how you got the stamp image so clear. Uh, I just, you, they, they're our stamps. I was, the, you, you need the right stamps and you need the right ink pads. Mm -hmm. I think that's the, the key thing. So notice how none of this ink is moving when I'm going over it with a little bit of water. None of it's moving at all. Um, and also, look, I, I'm loving the idea of I'm just picking up these colours mm -hmm. from my table. And these, I use a tiny weeny amount, really, of um, ink. Yeah. So I find it much easier if I take it onto my glass mat. I'm t I keep dipping the pen, the water brush but I'm taking off most of the water and then I'm just picking up a little bit starting to now there's a whole new color I've just made on that one because I blended the two together as I brought it yep. over and you can see there it's a completely different shade again so whether you want to work with the watercolor pens or the watercolor pencils um oh actually we've done wax based pens and wax based pencils you can see there mm -hmm. the different kind of effect and finish that was the the pencil all the rest in here now has been the pens and look how easy they've been to work with on that hydrangea. Now, I must show you one last technique before I finish this hydrangea off, because it's my favourite one to do, right? I'm going to get a nice bit. I'm going to get a nice kind of shady blue. I think the aquamarine might be nice for this. Oh, that's nice a colour. So, aquamarine, we haven't got ours organised in an overly sensible way, but a little bit here, right? So, pop a little bit of aquamarine down like this, right? You're going to pick up, and if I want to go a little bit darker, which I can do this, I can take one of my other ones, I could add a little bit of, oh, this was, what, ocean, ocean green. Mm -hmm. And then I can just blend the two colours together like this, right? So I've got a new colour. And now I'm going to create, like, a little shadow underneath. But because it's very washed out, yeah. you're not getting too much intensity of colour. And I always like to do this. I like to do, like, a nice washed out 
and then bleed that right out to nothing, right? And it just gives you, I always think it gives anything, any watercolour painting, a little bit of, um, it just establishes it if you've got that water and we're blending that right out. So I've got plenty of water on. I can pick up a little bit more colour now here, drop it round the outside, wash it right out. And it just, instead of it looking flat on the base, mm -hmm. it comes and starts and gives it a little bit of grounding on there. So plenty of, plenty of water, right? Wash that right out. Once it's all nice and wet, you can add in more and more of your um, colour and you can get deeper and deeper as you build it all up. That's the trick with these, is, is like building up, not starting with too much. And then I'm going around now with a second layer. And how nice does that with like, look like the little halo around the outside? I would do that with all of my watercolour projects, always give it a nice little halo around the outside. And then, um, that's, that's my favourite way to watercolour. Isn't that looking that lovely That looks now? amazing. Just add, it just adds such a lovely finishing touch and it's very artistic and just being realistic, guys, right? I've done that whole piece there in about three or four minutes, right? I've got so much product on the show today, I'm desperate to demo with it all. That's just giving you a feel for it, like three or four minutes. But it's all about having the right tools of the trade. If you want that beautiful shading of going from dark to medium to light in one pen, mm -hmm. that is your aqua pen. So you've got 48 pens in the collection. All of the shades that we do, you can keep them all nice and organized. Make yourself little color charts like this. And then I'll show you all of the colors. Because if you make your own little colour charts, you've got every shade that you could need. So notice what I was doing was, like I looked and I went, oh yes, aquamarine, that's a nice light blue. I want to work with that, not with navy, right? It's always easy to see the colour instead of looking on your tip of your pen. Mm -hmm. The edge of the pen is never a, an accurate representation with watercolour. A little bit more so with alcohol pen, but it's brilliant if you're wanting to do like a watercolour effect. You can see that lovely shade. So it gives you all 48 of the colours that we've got and you can do all of that lovely watercolouring that you've just seen me do on there. Wow, that looks really impressive. That's great. Um, lots of people loving what you were doing here. Robbie Hendrick says, I could open a, a Crafters Companion store as I've had so many products. I love CC, I bleed purple, I'm just saying. Um, Eleanor says, I love using the aqua markers and the pencils, especially now I've done the Academy of Colour. I learned so much from watching Leanne. Um, I think that that is the sort of key thing. So if you've not looked at that, you can have a look at the information on the website about the Academy of Colour and it will take through through all of those different types of, um, of, of ways of sort of techniques of using all of those different types of pens and pencils as well. Um, the stamp, you know, we had um, that blending toolkit. We had that on Friday. Did that sell out? Uh, on With, Friday, it did. it did. However, the blending set will be available on the website. Right. Okay. okay. So go and have a little look. The blending set will be available on the website. With those little stumps and the, the, you know, the, all, the shop, and all, all that in. sort of thing. And but the so blending solution you yep. do need separately. Right? right. Okay. Right. I'll get all these tied up. We'll be having a break soon. I can get these tidied up. Um, Becky, hmm. have you seen how many people are watching us today? No, I have not. How many? I think this might be the busiest show that I've done in months. I it, feel like, yep, it, since we've started, yep. it's just built and built and built and built. And, and I'm fascinated by the fact that loads of you are saying this is the first time you've been watching us. Well, not saying it's the first time, but we've seen brand new viewers. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of people, it's if you missed us explaining at the start of the show, this is a whole Spectrum Noir event that we've got going on, okay? So Spectrum Noir is our colouring brand, right? So everything we do, we do, we work with all artist-grade factories, right? So we don't produce kind of sub quality substandard materials because mm -hmm. at practice companion we're kind of known for doing the really good quality stuff so we've got artist grade products but all of them are kind of affordable accessible craft prices so a lot of the craft um market look to the art bar we, we buy our pencils or our pens from the art shops so that we've got the brilliant usability but they're a fortune because people who do art for all of this if you think about it if you're doing art that that in and of itself is quite often a vocation or that's that's a, a it's a, it's a job that people do, it's not a hobby always, yep. and so it can be really expensive. We try and make everything that's art quality but affordable, okay? Now, I know that it can be overwhelming and not knowing where to start. We made this bundle, this taster selection box, for anybody who is new to Crafters Companion, new to Spectrum Noir, just doesn't know where to get started, wants a collection of everything, mm -hmm. at an absolutely unmissable price. And to put it into perspective, if you went into an art store, 
and bought a comparable quality set of watercolour pencils, you would be paying £40 or $50 for a tin of watercolour pencils. Now, ours are only $24.99, $34.99, but it, the price that you're paying for this whole selection, you would pay in another brand of comparable quality just to get the watercolour pencils. Now, in the taste and selection box, and it has been, uh, there's been a couple of items today which have stolen the show. This is what we call our anchor product of the whole event. This is like everyone wants to get started in colouring. This is what you're going for. You've got the essential set in your um, Aquablend pencils. Then we've got a pack of our acrylic markers. We've then also got our art liner pens. Then we've also got all of our glitter pens, so we can literally try in everything. Then we've got some of our tri-blend pens in there, so you can try that lovely uh, colouring that I've been showing you. Yep. We've given you one of our classiques, one of our illustrator markers in there as well. Uh, ink pad wise, we're going to be looking at these a little bit more in the last half of the show. Mm -hmm. We're going to be... I'm going to be showing you how the, um, the metallic ink pads work. So we've got metallic ink pad in there. We've got one of our quick drying pads in there as well. We've also got a tube of our glossy highlights and a whole big set of our gilding flakes. It is wow. an absolutely monumental taster selection. And there's so many people have been going for this exact selection today. It's fabulous, right? Now, before you check out for that, right, I need you to see the essential tool set that we've got that goes with it. It's not just to go with this. It's for anybody who's doing any work with any of our Spectrum products, OK? Mm -hmm. This here, crazy, right? It, it, honestly, it's been, it's been so well received today. Now, the, the killer item in it, the one that everybody I mean, this here, our ink daubers. Now, these are $24.99 just for this set, right? So $24.99 gets you 40 of the little blending tools. And these are the ones that you can put on your finger so that when you're doing your blending, either around the edge or you're picking up your ink and taking it to specific areas, you're working on a really small surface area, mm -hmm. right? Don't bother cleaning these. You'll waste too much product. I want you to have one of these per colour. So have a set for your pigment ink pads, have a set for your water reactive ink pads, have some for your metallic ink pads. Don't mix them because you don't want to be putting metallic pigment into a water-based ink, for example, right? right. So, so I want you to keep them, I want you to have a one for each. So 40 in the set, if you're doing maybe all of your pigments and your metallics in one, your water reactives and your shimmers in another one, for example, right? But they are brilliant and we sell tons of these, right? Tons of it, in a 24 99 they're brilliant value for that many ink daubers, right? But in the packet, you get the ink daubers, you get one of our big blending mats. Now, this isn't about protecting your work surface. It will protect your work surface, but that's not its purpose. Its purpose is you saw me working onto the glass mat before. This is even better. Put your water-based product onto here or your gilding flakes or your gilding paste or whatever it is, and on here, the open time will be longer. It keeps it because it's, it's like a with just the finish on it, it's mm. basically waxy so that you're going to be able to move your watercolour products around there a little bit easier. Okay. So you get that. These two together is more than the cost of this whole kit. So everything else I'm about to show you is absolutely free. Right? Wow. You are going to get the um, Spectrum Noir blending solution. So this is the one that you've just seen me do all of that lovely, where we did the um, obliterating out all of the emulsification of the wax. Mm -hmm. That is what you need that solution for. You're then going to use the little egg daubers. We've also got the, um, the blending tool here and you've got the spritzers. That is everything coming in that set for £30 or $40. That is literally our top selling item. This is our top selling item today in terms of volume. This is in terms of value, how many people have gone for it. Either way, if you are getting either of the selection bags or these, hundreds of you, just today, we only launched this this morning where you're doing buy one, get one free on the pencils. This has been phenomenal. And since I did the demo, we've doubled the number of people that have checked out for this. So if you're sitting with either of uh, any of them three, or there's now just a, how many of the essential blends are left? A couple. The deep blends, sorry. Essential blends were okay. Uh, deep blends over allocated. So if you are checking out the deep blends, I'm amazed they didn't go in the last break, but there's literally the last couple and, and they are about to go. That could be an update now system, actually, guys. It might be that you come to check out and they won't work. So apologies in advance if I'm telling you they're there and you're finding that you can't check out for them. Um, 
It's been a crazy show. It has literally been a crazy show. But we've still got loads to go, Becky. I've got loads to do. I'm, I'm going to have do. to tidy up a little bit, though. We do, absolutely. Robbie Hedrick says this is an excellent taster selection box. If you, uh, it, you have every single thing in there you should try, get it if you don't already have the products. I think that is a really great I know, situation to be in. Stephanie says, so glad this show is airing today. I think it was needed for all of us. I always pick up new tips. Thank you, Crafters TV. Hannah Gosling Smith is asking for a favour, Sarah. Go on. Um, can you please tell Daniel Pierce Holland that he doesn't need all 216 colours of the illustrator, please? He missed you say it earlier. Um, yes, I did indeed say you don't <laughs> need all 216 colours of the illustrator, Marcus. I mean, that is the dream. Absolutely. But you don't need them. Want to have them, yes, don't need to have them because it's all the same because you've got in all of our coloured pens. We don't need pretty shoes, but we still need them, don't we? Let's be honest. Um, loads of people loving what we, we've got here. Um, looks brilliant. This is comes from Lynn Morton. Thank you for all the education and the advice um, that makes it... Re, the, the advice and the tips is really, really handy. I think even people that have been using these products um, for some time, they are learning something new. And like you say, each time a new um, craft expert comes in, um, we, everyone's got a slightly different take on how they use the products. So we're definitely getting loads and loads of different um, handy tips um, in there as well. Um, as we said before, if you are a new crafter, you've just started watching us, say hello. Hello, we're quite nice. We won't bite. Um, we will um, we always like to have new people in here. And the community that we have um, on Crafters Companion is a brilliant one. If you have a question about a product you'll find on Facebook, someone will answer you. It might be one of us. It might be one of um, the, the viewers. And um, they are always sort of full of um, inspiration and tips and advice. Um, so definitely do join um, any kind of Facebook page. We've got a number of uh, Facebook groups um, that you might like to have a look at and just message in here watch us a message in we always like to hear from you right <laughs> excuse me so excited <laughs> got a frog in my throat it's obviously time for me to have a quick cup of tea so we're going to have a quick break allow you the opportunity to check out those baskets remember that essentials bundle of those tri blends is going to be selling out very soon so make sure you check out with and don't lose out on it see you in a couple of moments welcome to crafters tv with more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be coming in. in. Should be coming <laughs> What does she do? Exactly what does she do? She looks. <laughs> This is awesome! This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I watch you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze.
we get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in you know we see the same same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family hello everybody i hope you took advantage of that little break and to check out your baskets we don't want you to miss out on any of those great deals that we have and some of the items that we're showing you today um, don't have a huge amount of stock left because they have been so very popular um we i want to, i want to say Congratulations to Carol Ann Hanley, who completed her 12th half marathon yesterday. Um, well done. Um, that's impressive. Oh, so I need some motivation, guys. I'm doing the Great North Run in September. Wow. So Is that yes, a half marathon? That's, that's a half marathon. Wow. That's going to be quite... I couldn't do that. There's no way I could do that. I don't think I could run to the door. Um, and unless there's chocolate at the end, maybe then I would run. Um, I think I need to get on the site and buy some Spectrum Noir goodies um, when they're on offer to celebrate. That's from Caroline. I think you should. And um, celebrate you should because it is a great achievement. Well done, you. Um, I just couldn't do it. Right, the next item we have is our Gemini MIDI machine and storage bag. What does Ben call this? Simplicity without the electricity. So That's this exactly is, what he says. Th this is our manual machine, our larger machine. So this is a larger. The other one is a mini, a mini, mini, mini one. Um, it's um, quite, it's quite a sturdy machine. You know, you're not going to, you're not getting something. You're going to think, oh, that's not going to last. This is quite sturdy. It's got these suckers at the bottom to hold it um, in place. Um, it's hand cranked, so great for, great for travelling. I mean, if you're, you're into caravanning, um, perhaps you want to do a bit of crafting, but you don't want to, have to take the, your whole sort of Gemini Junior, even if you're Gemini Pro, um, with you. And um, this is absolutely ideal. So inside here, you're also going to be getting um, a selection of the plates that you'll need for using with this. But you'll also be getting a storage bag. Um, so you don't need to keep it in the, in the box. You don't need to keep it out on your desk. You can tuck it away, keep it all tied, inside this beautiful little storage bag a um, little handle on top so it makes it nice and easy um, for you to transport um, no maybe you're, you're packing going on holiday and uh, you want to do this whilst enjoying the sunshine um, on the, the balcony when you're on holiday this is the ideal machine for you to have the price for this is 69 pounds 99 and that's 109 pounds 99 um, I'm sorry 109 dollars 99 platinum price is 55.99 or 87.99 so you're getting the storage bag as well as the midi great deal this is a brilliant machine isn't it Sarah it is and basically you're going to buy the midi today and we're going to give you the storage bag absolutely free I'm going to be using that actually Becky in my next demonstration you brilliant. timed that one perfectly excellent 
Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using... Now, we have a set of the Midas Metallic ink pads. Now, these have got to be some of the most underrated ink pads in our whole selection, right? Now, I'll show you the, all the ones that are coming in the selection today. It's five of the colours, and then I'll show you how we can use them, because a lot of people don't realise you can use them all these different ways. So, you get the traditional gold, mm -hmm. and can you see... Oh, by the way, guys, you're all fighting over the last deep blends. It's like the last person to check it out now. So you can see just how spongy that is. You get the gold. You also get the silver. So we've got gold, silver, and bronze. So your traditional kind of gold, silver, bronze colours. And then you've got the rose gold and also the blush, which is like a nice pinky shade in there, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got different shades. Now, let me show you. I'm going to use it onto a little bit of black card to create an all-over background. Now... You know when we go for this amazing bumper kit, it had the little eggs in. Yep, so yep. this was, I'll get the details on this on the bottom of the screen. That is the one, in, in fact, I'm going to get this mat out as well because it will help me move all of this colour around. So I'm going to pop the mat down. I'm going to use the little eggs that come included. So you're going to get a pack of four of the eggs in there. Um, and then I'm going to be using the round blending tool just to add a little bit of excess. Well, I'll show you how we can do the blending tool or I'll show you how you can use your little daubers on there as well, right? So for a background, I'm going to pick up the ink onto here mm -hmm. and you can see I can start and blend with it. So can you see that they're like opaque in their finish? So you've got that gorgeous sheen on here. Oh, yes. That's and I'm nice. going to use the difference. I'm just going to rub the gold all over the background. And we're going to blend a few of the shades together here. So I'm going to use the gold in the background here. And then what you can do is you can switch and say, right, we'll move into the rose gold. So I'll just turn the egg round and work on the other part of the egg and blend that rose gold into the gold. And can you see we've got a lovely shade? Now, this is what I mean about all of the... Um, if you use the right mat in the background, it's going to help me move the colour around because mm -hmm. when it moves onto this mat, I can still pick it up and work with it a little bit more. So I don't need to... It's not waste. I can blend up all of this excess and then I'm switching between all of the colours and blending the gold into that lovely ombre shade in the background, right? So there is our lovely... Let's just get a little bit more on there. Lovely shading in the background. So there's my all over background colour with the rose gold and the gold in there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run it through the uh, embossing machine. Now I'm going to use, I've got like a nice leopard print embossing folder, right? So I do this into here. Now when we're going to use the Gemini MIDI, we're going to put the suckers, all that on the bottom. Because it's a regular embossing folder, we're putting it uh, with the shim into the machine. You do the embossing through and that is how you do your embossing. Right? Oh, okay. So 3D embossing folder, you don't need any other shim. But if you're using your um, regular embossing folder, can you see that's now got that lovely leopard print mm. colour on. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this in and I'm now going to bring the bronze out and I'm going to use it. Whereas the egg was for the background, the bronze now I'm going to use to go over the top. And all it will do is now is it will put that bronze colour all over the top on the raised bits. So I'm layering up now all of my different coloration. How fabulous does that leopard print look? Multicolored with that lovely bronze. I can pick up all the excess and give it a rub. But that's when I'm just wanting to put the bronze over the top. The egg was when I was wanting to put all of that color in the background. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna matte and layer that onto a little bit of white and then onto a black card then it starts to stand out and look really impressive. Mm. Nice, look at that, right? Now, if you want to do a bit of stamping, I've already stamped this because I didn't know where the stamp was. So you've got what a girl wants. You're just going to stamp what a girl wants. This has actually been stamped and heat embossed onto there as well. So if you want to stamp it and heat emboss it, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do exactly the same. I've got that one on there. I've done two little hearts, right? So if you do, I've got on here, hearts that have been embossed mm -hmm. right i'm going to pick up a little bit of that color again and add a little how good does that look oh, really add a little pop. bit of shave it, shading with the bronze onto that one there look at the difference regular a little mm. bit of colour on there, all right? A lot of people don't think about doing this with the Midas. They just think the Midas is all about the stamping. You can also use it for all of your colouring like this. 
So I've just got a nice couple of little love hearts on there. And they're actually, they're die cut. You, I've got the outsides as well. So if I want to put the whole thing together, I can die cut this on here. So I'm ready to go. Becky, I'm just going to be putting the whole card together. Okay. They don't need, as long as they can see what I'm doing, I don't need to be able to explain it if there's any kind of questions or other things coming through. Um, Eleanor um, Swin Jones says, I love these metallic ink pads. They're so juicy. I've had them for a long time. Um, which. Uh, um, Daniel's asked about aqua pens. He, he thinks there might be more than we have at the moment. We have 48 aqua pens. Did we used to have more? Uh, no, 48. Always 48. 40, 48 of the aqua pens. Yep, that is all of the aqua pens we do in the collection, guys. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, that's, that, that, that's how, it, how it is. Daniel, um, he says he thought he had, well, he had 72 in his collection. Could they, there may be there are other pens that we've got there, uh, but yeah, it should be 48. Um, if you've got I mean, I think I, I'm now questioning myself, um, but I can't think. I'm pretty sure we've only, unless we did any exclusive order ships for HSN at any point or oh, whatever. He said he bought them in packs of 12, and then yeah. four packs of 12, and then four times six packs. And there weren't ah. any duplicates. So were those special edition colours, They maybe? might have been some special edition ones that we did then. We've done that for a few of the tri-blends, the tri-blend brushes, didn't we? Did we do the Mediterranean? We did just a couple of special pens. We, do, we, we occasionally yep. do special limited editions. So, um, yes, do you know, we do that much product sometimes here, I always don't remember. So all I'm going to put that down to is me not remembering. But now you've mentioned it, that rings a bell. But in our core collection, yep. there is only the, the 48 pens of the watercolour in the core collection. So um, perhaps Daniel's got some super rare colours that in a few years' time, when he goes on to Antiques Roadshow, they're going to go, wow, these colours, these are really special oh, ones. These um, are special to our limited editions. Absolutely. These fetch a fortune. <laughs> and if you are keen to build up your Spectrum Noir collection, today is the day because we have so many great deals for you. We've got great bundles. This is the show to be watching um, when Sarah's going to be going through all of the different um, bits and pieces um, to show us how to um, use all these different products. Um, Susan Griffiths says, um, hello, Sarah and Becky. I've been watching, uh, but now signed in to say my... Midas is my favourite uh, Spectrum Noir pad. Midas there stamps you beautifully. See. I love them as well. Mm. I love them. They're very, very effective. Yes. They're the first ones I bought. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they well, are. you started in a good place, and didn't I you? I did, didn't I? I? It's something glittery. I'm always going to go for something sparkly or glittery. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Do you know? It was just a nice, quick, and easy one as well. It was just. I didn't even know I was going to get a whole card made in this show. It was all about the techniques. But I'm pleased we've had a chance because now I can go up against Corin for card of the day at some point, can't I? You can. Yeah. You can. There's no can pressure. Can I just appreciate, though? Um, we've sold a load of these Midas Ink pads today, but we hardly noticed it because they're only £13. Yeah, that is an incredible £13. Deal. So bear in mind, normally four ninety nine, or I think they're eight ninety nine dollars an ink pad, right? You are getting five of them for that price on there. So if, you are, that's, if you're shopping in the US, that's $4 an ink pad instead of $8.99 an ink pad. What an incredible deal, absolutely incredible deal. So there you go, that is that there. Um, do you know, if you are getting organized with your ink pads as well, do you wanna see how I organize all of mine? I've got all of my Midas ones here, actually organizing the ink pad storage trays, Becky. So I've got here, look at these, got them all organised and I'm pretty sure we've got these on the show today, haven't we? We have got them on the show today. I've just picked up my box, but it's empty. But you can see what they look like. You've got all of those um, and, and it keeps them all flat, which is what you want to do. You don't want them being on their, their side. Um, you want them all nice and flat um, to keep them all organised so you can see exactly what you've got there. And they will fit all of the shapes of ink pads. So not only um, ones like the quick dry, but also the, the new ones, the shimmer ones and the duet with the, the, that kind of sort of swirl to it. Um, they will all fit inside of those. Well, so you can see you Sarah's got all well. of them there. A little bit like the pen trays, okay, you can either stack them up straight so that they're like, I've just realised I've got ink all over my hand here, uh, straight, or you can slightly offset them as they're going so that they will be, and they all self-support on here, right? I so if you slightly that. offset them like, did you not know that? No. Yeah, so they just like the uh, pen ones that we do. Yeah. So you can slightly offset them so that they are all flush on the front here. 
So can you see those ones are flush on the front and then yes. they go back to stagger on the front because they flush on the back. So it depends on how you, if I have them in my de uh, on my desk at home, which I do, I have all of my ink pads and I have them going slightly staggered back like this. So that as I stare at them, I can see, there you go, you can see all your ink pads are flush like this and they're slightly tapered. Um, and then of course at the back nobody sees, of course they're all like this. But then when we've got them on the shelves, we've got them stacked up straight. So it's, it's whatever's easiest. I like to see it this way because you can see the top of the ink pad on each one. Really good. But yeah, you get six and each one holds three. So that's 18 ink pads they'll hold. Fantastic. And I think, you know, like you said, you're spending a little bit of money on these. You want to make sure you're storing them correctly because you don't want to find that they, you've, you've put them upside down or to the side and then you've wasted those items. You do want to make sure um, that you're storing everything properly. Um, remember, we have lots of items underneath the um, Spectrum Wire um, section of the website and you'll see this 30% off. Um, so we've got storage for the trays as well as your um, actual sort of um, ink pads as well. Um, lots of great deals for you. Um, next thing we're going to look at is the storage case hold on 30% off this I'm just going to grab this so you can see um, individual items on the website if you look um, on the home page you will see there's a link um, to a spectrum while um, this carry case um, holds 48 of your tri blends um, in here we've only got a few in here to show you but this is a very very sturdy case great for you know I think if you're going to be going to um, classes going to places where you need to take them around and um, this is a really great way of storing them anyway and um, perhaps you also want those trays so you've got them on your desk and you can see everything that there's there but it's quite a stylish bag it's nice and strong you've got a little zip part down here so maybe put your um, papers in there and um, the price for this is £29.99 or $37.49 platinum price is $29.99 $23.99 or $29.99. Um, Cheryl Couch says she loves the ink with Midas ink pads um, and she loves what you're doing with these, Sarah, giving them lots of inspiration, as always. They're brilliant, aren't they? Honestly, I've, do you know, I've really loved this show. I've loved getting a chance to do a little bit of everything. If I have to just choose one item, though, that's like my favourite item of the whole show, I'm going to have to come back to me tri blends. And if I can't choose all of the tri blends, I'm going to pick the brush. Because those tri blend brush ones, so you saw me working with them. I've, I'm trying to think where I've, where's me uh, demo that I started a little bit. I don't know where I've put on me demo. Do you know, I'm trying to keep so organised down here, I've got everything everywhere. This is the thing, don't be organised. Have we got time for me to get another stamp out and do a tiny little bit of blending on this? Go on. Oh, here's me demo that I was on with. Right, right, here we go. So, let's go tri blend brush. Oh, let's have a nice. I do, oh, I like, do you know what? I'll go with the one we've already stamped because I love working with this, right? But let's try a different shade and colour on them. So let's have a go. Should we do some nice pinks, right? So watch this. This is what I would be doing, Becky, right? I would be getting my lightest colour and I'm laying down all of this. Lovely, I do love a bright pink. It's like a, it's like a hot pink shade that we're working with, right? So you've got to pop down all of your, your colour in there for a start point, mm -hmm. right? Then we come in to all of these little ones, right? I'm just gonna pop these down here like this. So, I'm using now that little set, the kind of little, what you call it, like a little flicking technique, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just using that little flicking technique to get the interior bit. Then I'm gonna come in with the medium one, and I'm just blending through so that we still get that, I want this little flick effect in here, right? That's what so looks I'm just gorgeous. flicking all the way through there. Now, if you want that lovely ombre with the flick, right, what I then suggest you do is go to the other side, come in from the top, and now what we're going to do is flick from the top down into the bottom. And that way you're getting all that lovely flicking and you're not losing any of the details. So we've still got that blend and ombre, mm -hmm. but we've gone from one into the next, into the next. And that, I think, is fab That there is wonderful to work with. And it's the same, whatever shade you take, Let's have a little look. We've got a bit of turquoise in there. Oh, let's go with a bit of purple, right? Exactly the same shading again. And I'm gonna, again, I'm just bringing this color in. Now, if you only, I know a lot of people today, I was saying, if you're just brand new to all of this, I would recommend getting started with your essential blends. However, it's all of the, it's this one that people have been going for. It's been the brush pens, which tells me a lot of people watching today are the sort of people that are a little bit more advanced. Yeah. That are wanting to know how they can push their kind of colouring skills onto the next level. And they want that lovely brush pen finish 
to get that shading, right? The, br the brush nib, look how well I'm doing all this flicking with it, right? Because I'm just anchoring my, my um, the base of my hand. Mm -hmm. Hand, that's the word I'm looking for, Becky. It's been a long <laughs> couple of hours, hasn't it? And just flicking all of this in. Look at that ombre. I could do it. Purples are my favourite to colour yeah. with. I love. I, I do like colouring with reds as well. Like, but look how easy all of that was. Every time, Becky, I could sit here and colour all day, Becky. I know yeah, I'm not I'm allowed not to. And yeah. it's quite important. We, I, I think, you know, you you sort of turning and rotating your paper around. I, I, sometimes I forget to do that, but it's actually quite important, isn't it, to make sure you do do that to get the most out of those pens. Well, it's so much easier, I find, to flick upwards. Right. So I'm doing all of my flicking now upwards. So can you see I've done that lovely and I've gone from the dark into the medium mm -hmm. with all of that flicking and then instead of trying to flick downwards where I'm not going to be as controlled just turn it round so that you're still back flicking upwards. That's the difference there we're going to flick upwards so that we get that perfect ombre every time dark medium and light and I, I love how you, you kind of can't see it just all blends into one. Yeah. That's the beauty and that is tribal and friends and these are those amazing tri-blend brush look how nice and juicy they are yep. but also you can do nice little thin tiny, tiny weeny little bits but then you're going from that lovely dark shade into the light one you would never think it but when you see the ombre it's perfect that has been for me the tri-blend brush has definitely been one of the hero items of the whole day i know it, it's been the pencils that have been the top sellers being totally honest guys mm -hmm. but for me if you're looking to treat yourself and you're thinking right i'm gonna i mean these aren't a treat yourself these are 15 quid so you'd be stupid not to get them 15 quid 19.99 dollars right but if you think i'm going to treat myself to one spectrum noir item today what should i do i would say if you go for the tri-blend brush then the tri-blend brush are going to take you on that journey of course you need them along with your bag mm -hmm. so you kind of can't go for one item but if you want really one big set of coloring stuff i'll go for the tri-blend brushes fantastic that's brilliant um, one question we've had in is how many midas ink pads are in the collection there are five midas five. ink pads you go for that midas ink pad collection you get the gold silver and bronze and then you get the rose gold and the blush those are the five colors on the midas um, and just what would be worth giving a mention as well becky that cardstock i've only got the best results on all of the alcohol pens mm -hmm. by using the nina cardstock that's the one that's going to give you the best results because i know we had that on a three for two today didn't we we do yeah I've, and i've got it in my hand now because i don't want people to miss out on this don't think that you can well you, you, you i thought any old paper will be fine a bit of copy paper will be fine when i'm using my um uh, spectrum wild pens this gets so much better results. It's beautifully smooth, um, so it's really going to help with all those sort of layers of the, the um, ink laying down. You're going to get a three pack over here, so you're getting 48 sheets in total. This is what we all use when we are inking and uh, uh, stamping and then colouring with our tri blends. This is what you'll see all of us use again and again. Definitely worth popping into your basket while it's on special offer. This is £9.98 or $13.98. Spectrum Pro sorry spectrum price platinum price is seven pounds 98 or eleven dollars 18. um again one to pop in your basket you want to make sure that you when you when you're using the best quality products best quality tools you want to use tools all the way through so you want the best quality ink you want the best quality for your stamps best quality stamps you want the best quality pens and you want the best quality um vehicle for all of those to get the best possible results right so over there you've got um aquabend pencils or aquabend yes. pens I the aquabend pens now if you want the aquabend pencils guys we'll talk about them right at the end those are my buy one get one free on the wax base and the aquabend pencils this is the demo that i did earlier though using those aquablend pens and can you see even now it's dried how amazing does it look with that like um that little uh what's it like a shadow all the way around the outside there that is because I've worked under watercolour card here, but I've used premium pens. Now, just to, for full transparency, so you know, we did this leaf and that tiny little bit of hydrangea with the pencils, because I got waylaid halfway through the demo and wanted to show you the pencils. But all of this was all of that watercolour pens, and this was done with those watercolour pens. Now, if I talk you through all of them, this is exactly what you've got, okay? So these are your essentials. You also have the primary set that go with it then you get the floral and finally you get the nature
-hmm. Now, I know you look and you think, oh, they sometimes look a little bit similar there. Well, have a look at the actual pencils when they're put together, because the, the, this is the difference, the pens, sorry. You need to see the pens laid down. Firstly, can we appreciate just how intensive those colours are, right? That's your primary, so they're the most intensive ones. Then you've got on here your nature ones, so they're the ones if you like to do any kind of... Um, you know landscapes and things like this this one here are your essentials so these are your skin tones your hair colors in there as well and then your floral set i love these i love that wildflower it's fabulous to work with and that orchid is the, the purple that i used earlier yeah, uh, and the rose pink so there's some really nice florally shades in here if like me you like to do the little hydrangeas and the roses and things like that that set's brilliant to go with that is all of the 48 pens we do in our collection so by the time you get all four of those sets you're sorted because actually if you want if you saw what I was doing when I did the demo I wanted the blue I wanted to make it a little bit darker so I had a slightly darker shade you can either add a bit of gray or you can add a darker blue and start and shade in your own colors okay. so for all you've only got well, we're talking about what 48 pens you've actually got an endless amount of colors that you could do with them yeah they are gorgeous really like those um, the next item we have is a bit of an alliteration it is a premium pencil pad um, so we're going to be in looking at these. So these, you're going to get two pads of this paper because um, we've got those fantastic deals on the pencils um, today as well. And we're trying to not only be giving you great deals on the Spectrum Noir um, sort of core products, but we also want to make sure that you've got the right papers, right inks um, to be able to use this. Two pads you're going to be getting here, and these are effectively a four size, um, 160 GSM. This is £14.98 or $23.98. Uh, platinum price is £11.98 or $19.18 for both of these so 60 sheets all together and then you're going to be using the best possible um, product in order for you to um, use your pencils um, with regards to the Midas ink pads Gilmore says Midas are the best I love using them to ink the edges of my papers to give it just a hint of antiquing or a softness to the edges I think lots of people are sort of rediscovering the, those Midas ink pads and the things that you can do from the, the, the um, demos that Sarah's just shown us. Um, so are you going to look at the pencils now, is that right? I am looking at the pencils. Now, if you were watching the demonstration earlier, I taught everyone, I worked through some of Leanne's techniques with these pencils, and I was showing everybody how to get a perfect ombre from reds into yellows. That's, that is like the most difficult selection mm -hmm. to get an ombre colour from. We use the blending solution. But it was these dual colour pencils that I was using to do that with. So remember, Leanne's got all these techniques. We're, I'm just doing a tiny little taster of this in the show because we've got so many products. You can go and watch whole shows just about how to use just these pencils, for example, right? Now, those are your dual colour pen wax pencils. Yep. These are your dual colour water-based pencils. Okay. Oh, there's that hydrangea I was colouring with. Ah, oh, and that, that, there's the two flowers I've <laughs> been working with. have it. <laughs> um, but with all of these, you are basically buying one, getting one free. So these are the shades that come in there. This has been our biggest seller in terms of number of people checking this out today because you're buying the... the uh, water well you can buy them either way get the water base get the wax based pencils free buy the wax base get the water based pencils free either way it's only 14.99 or 19.95 for one set i'll be really honest my kids love these right my kids they love the fact that there's two different colors on the two ends so they've all got loads of these pencils and these are the ones that we use all the time and their coloring skills are brilliant for nine and six their coloring skills are absolutely brilliant so i would definitely encourage don't just think about you if these are a brilliant pen, uh, set of set of you know presents to buy for the kids or the mm -hmm. grandkids or whatever, right? Wish my mum would stop buying them cheap, nasty pencils from <laughs> when she goes to the supermarket. I'm like, no, mum, we have nice colouring pencils now. Check, I need some nice colouring pencils for my house, right? That has been the hero item of the show. That is that there. What I do just want to remind everybody of is where we started right at the beginning, because I know you'll be checking this out in the break. Mm -hmm. This is the killer killer deal of the show in fact it's not just the deal anchoring this show it's the whole deal anchoring the whole spectrum noir event that we've got okay so this is your taster selection box where you are going to get our full tin of 24 colors of your aqua blend pencils you're also going to get some of our glitter markers you're going to get a set of our paint markers in there you're going to get some of our art liner pens which are your speciality pens that you can be drawing with and then doing all your zentangle and coloring for example 
You've got in here a set of tri-blends to work with. We've also got a set of our gilding flakes in there. You've then got, oh crikey, we're still going. We've got the glossy highlights. We've got one of our quick drying pads. You've got in here that bronze one that I used when I did that technique on there and I use that lovely bronze over the edge. That mm -hmm. is all done with that bronze Midas ink pad. And you've even got a couple of Spectrum Noir so you can try one of the classics and one of the Illustrator markers. That is, without doubt, the best value bundle we've got on going for the whole, not just in the show today, the best value bundle that we've got in this whole Spectrum Noir event. And remember, it is an event. We're doing 30% off everything Spectrum Noir on the website. So you can go and have a little look. If it's not what's on this show, trust me, you will be able to find what you want Spectrum Noir-wise on the website. And then this, this is what I'm going to have to close out with because whether you are a huge Spectrum Noir fan or just getting started, you'd be crazy not to get this, okay? You've got in there the mat, which is the one I've just been using for doing all of my blending on, right? Yeah. You've got a set of our misters. You've got a little set of um, the sponge applicators. We've got the set of mini eggs that I've just been using in my last demo. We've got that amazing blending solution that I told you you needed to have that we mm -hmm. just were using and a whole pack of 40 of our ink daubers. This on its own is $24.99 or $32.99. So it's only another five pounds or seven dollars to go for this. If you are a platinum member, you are paying less than the price of just the daubers to get the whole bundle. That is how incredible the bundle is. Hundreds of you have gone for this today. It has been brilliant to see how many new people are trying Spectrum Noir products for the first time. And um, take the chance between the two shows now, Becky, people can go and have a look on the website and see yep. all the stuff that we've got on that 30% off. Yeah, lots and lots of deals there. Um, I think it's been an amazing show. Beverly Bryant says, well done to Sarah for winning a star on Sunday, because you did win Star of the Week. Thank you. Congratulations, even though I'm not bitter. Um, we have had a fantastic time here. Thank you so much, Sarah. It's been great, brilliant spending three days with you this week. It's three been days. wonderful. That's it. I am back tomorrow. I know you're not. I'm back with Craig for mm -hmm. the launch. You know, we did the preview yesterday. Yeah. But I'm back with Craig for the launch day, um, the launch day show tomorrow afternoon. And if you're watching in the UK, guys, I'm going to be doing the QVC. We've got huge QVC shows this week. I will be doing those QVC show, uh, the preview show tomorrow morning. If you're waiting for HSN, I fly straight from London to HSN. I've got HSN shows next week, so we're doing the HSN preview tomorrow night. So you'll be getting an email whether you're watching the QVC preview or you're watching the HSN preview. You've got to make sure you watch it tomorrow. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. I do hope you've learned lots. I've learned plenty, and I think my bank balance is going to take a bit of a hammering with all of those special deals. But you don't want to miss out. Make sure you check out. Um, lots of things are becoming sort of quite limited. Um, look at the website under that 30% um, deal, but make sure you check out your baskets as soon as you can to make sure you get hold of those great deals. I will be back in a couple of hours with our Corin. We're going to be doing Monday Makers, and it is all Sarah's signature garden party. I'll see you very soon.